Uh, John, this week we've got a uh, tough clash against Whitehaven. Yeah, I think it's going to be really difficult because uh, the last game they lost were against Bradford up at their end. So they've had six games since then. Uh, they've won them all. Uh, they're a very aggressive team, a very direct team, a very big team. Uh, and they really do look after the ball and make you have to work for anything that you get. So it's going to be a big challenge, but uh, you know, we're going to be challenged in these last uh, seven games or so, and we've got to be up to that challenge. You touched on it before, that close encounter we had uh, back at the recreational ground. Uh, that was their last loss, and it really, really did take us down to the wire, didn't they? They did, yeah. I mean, it was 21 20 until Villa Halafi scored in the last uh, couple of minutes. So to make it 27 20, and, and it was a, a tough old game. Uh, I thought the conditions suited how they played rather than how we play, in the fact that it was, it was drizzly, it was wet, it was greasy. Uh, so it, it limited the uh, amount of ball movement you could have. Uh, so, you know, this week's obviously going to be dry. Uh, and it's a big pitch, our, our pitch, so I'm pleased about that, but we still know that they've got some quality as well. They can move the ball as well when it comes down to it, and they've got two Papua New Guinea players in Dion A and Jesse Joe Parker, who are outstanding players. You touched on those final seven games that we've got, and we're at a point now after that defeat to York, they really are chasing our tail, and every point really is crucial, especially with that goal difference. Yeah, every, well, every point on the league ladder is crucial obviously to keep York to, to tie with York but obviously the it may well come down to points difference in the end and uh, so that means every uh, try that you stop is uh, makes it very very worthwhile and obviously every try or every point that you score is very very worthwhile and and you've got to maintain intensity concentration and focus for the full 80 minutes and and it's a challenge in any sport and it's a challenge in a, in a competition as tight as this just down at Tom today, you can feel quite a bit of excitement. Um, that obviously, with the we getting a bit of momentum behind us, we had quite a convincing victory against London last week. That must give the boys a bit of confidence going into what's sure going to be a tough game this Saturday. Yeah, well, I was delighted with them last week, uh, Luke. I, th I thought that they responded really well from the disappointment of the York game. There was no uh, Teddy's thrown out of the pram. They accepted that we'd, we'd been beaten. We've got to address that problem, and you address that by performing well and, and posting some points and posting a win. And we did that. When you think that you know York went down to London and, and won only by two points, and we went down and posted a, a pretty healthy scoreline, that, that, that's a, a big pat on the back for our players. But this one's about getting the win, uh, because as you pointed out, up at Whitehaven it was very, very tight, and I'm expecting it to be equally tight here at, at Odsall. So we've got to make sure that first, first and foremost, we win the game. You worry about how many when it becomes. 78, 79 minutes, but until we've won it, that'll be our sole focus. One of the uh, recent recruits, Toy Wagodo, uh, had quite a stand-up performance in that game last week against London. What's your thoughts on him so far? Yeah, well, I've, I've kept my tabs on Toy for a, a couple of years, to tell you the truth. Uh, I remember at Batley, he, he played for Castleford in a pre-season game, and I sat back and thought, wow, this kid's strong and he's fast and he's a handful. And that was further uh, cemented my opinion when we played Newcastle early in the season at Newcastle and uh, it was really difficult to put down and it causes all sorts of problems and scored a try then. And since then I've been on to John Wells and Daryl Powell inquiring all the time if he wasn't in the first team, is he available? And obviously we got him and I think people will see from the London game why we brought him in because uh, he's certainly a, a threat on the edge. And then as well, new recruit has been named in the uh, the nineteen man squad is Johnny Powell. Yeah, well, Johnny's uh, you know he's, he's an experienced player. If you've played at Lee at the top end of the championship, then played at Toronto, winning the division, we're in, and then at the top end of the championship as well, you, you're a good player, and he is a good player. He's a very experienced player. He's quite unflappable, and he, his, his qualities are there for all to see. And uh, I'm looking forward to him adding adding competition for places, but also when he gets out on the field of play, really putting a marker down so that others have got to. To, to be to that standard in order to A, compete with him or B, to, to oust him from his spot. So looking forward to welcoming him, him on board as well. And then just finally for me, John, have we got an injury update from last week? And obviously Greg rolled his, uh, his ankle and Brandon Pickersgill came in and filled in a really great role uh, at London. But have we got any further updates for us? Yeah, there's obviously Greg's struggling this week, so he, he won't be featuring. And Callum Buston hasn't recovered from his, his injury, so he'll be missing out as well. So, 
Yeah, that we've, we, I think everybody's carrying injuries, uh, but we're also fortunate that people are coming back, such as Joe Keys, and we're fortunate as well that we brought people in, such as Johnny Pownell. So I'm pretty at ease where we're at, and I'm very, very at ease that we've got the squad that can cope with these uh, this run into the to the end of the season.